Hello and welcome back to our blog. My name is Jim Cuervo. I am your senior instructor in tech here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today's topic involves layer states. We will be looking at ways to implement layer states not only in the current DWG file but in future DWFG files if we cho so choose. When we work with layers we have three kinds of tools to freeze them. To start off we have the freeze globally, freeze globally which is this icon right here. <clears throat> this icon freezes the layer that you choose not only in model space but in all current viewports and all future viewports. Next to it we have the VP freeze or freeze in current viewport icon which is this one right here. This icon controls the viewport in the specific viewport that you have chosen it to freeze it in or the current viewport. Then on the other side you have new VP freeze. This freezes the layer that you choose or layers that you choose in all future viewports not in the current and not in model space. Another thing that I want to point out is that layer states runs or works rather with very specific layer names. So if your layer names somehow or other are not exactly the same this will not work. At the very least, it won't be consistent. So what does that mean? It means that we need to implement rigorously a, an office standard for naming the layers. So everybody's layers are named equally. So when the script, or rather the layer state, is implemented, it will always find the correct layers. Let us move forward. <coughs> As we can see, we have three different viewports. Okay, They're all showing the very same drawing in model space, but we're going to actually change their look on each and every one of them so they uh, then define a different usage for the particular viewport. In our case, this one we're going to call the demo. This is the new construction, and this one we're going to leave the same for comparison. Let's go ahead and start now by going to the home tab layer panel we open up the down arrow on the layers we will find unsaved layer states the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and open that up we will find two more labels here manage layer states is the one that we're looking for so let's go ahead and select manage layer states and in this dialog box you will see an import button we'll go to the import button and we are going to then go ahead and select a particular LAS which is the extension for the uh, layer states files. Okay, The one that I'm looking for is this one. I've created this previously so I could have a really good starting point as I have said earlier. We can navigate and find it through here to the navigation bar just like everything, everything else that we've done. So let's go ahead and select original only. Say open that. Rather than saying restore states or close in dialog or anything else, I'd rather say close dialog box. This actually puts it right here. Okay. Once I have it listed, I say close. Okay. The next step would be for us to go ahead and place ourselves inside the viewport, which I'm not. So let's go ahead and double click on this one, which is our demo. We'll start with that one. Open this up. Make sure that it's been assigned to it by selecting it this way. Remember, you got to be inside the viewport. Now that we've got assigned it, the original layer uh, states to this particular viewport. Let's go back into layers, open this up, go back to manage layer states. Let's hit the new button again. Let's give it a very descriptive name so we know what it's all about. If we need to write a description as to what it does, we can go ahead and write it here. I'm just going to hit OK. Once this is in here in my lists I'm going to go ahead and close this and come back to layers and switch it from the original to demolition now as you can see there's really no difference between the two of them which is fine we're going to go ahead and change the layer state properties in a couple of moments so let's go ahead and assign that one open it up demolition is now assigned to the viewport manage layer states is where we go we select demolition layout and say edit now what we're going to do here is freeze the 
a wall interior new which is this icon right here remember this icon is really talking about the current viewport so I just hit that once I have the a wall interior new frozen remember this is demolition layer state <clears throat> we move over to the a door which is the proposed doors we freeze that one also not part of demolition then we'll go and say to the a wall demolition layer that we are going to change its color to yellow once we change the color to yellow we can then move over to the line types and change the line type of it to hidden which has been preloaded for us say okay to that so now a wall demolition is not only a different color it's yellow for this viewport it's also a hidden line type right last but not least let's go to the a wall existing to remain change its color to number nine which is a wall existing to remain change the color red to number nine which is this one right here and say okay to that once we do that we will say save and close here now what we have to do is make sure that we have it assigned properly and there it is now you'll notice the layers that we actually defined to be frozen have been frozen and all of the layers because of my line types and line weights rather are showing properly okay that's great for the demolition uh, layer state let's go ahead and work now on the new layer states or new construction rather which is this one right here let's switch viewports by clicking inside this one come back to layers let's go ahead and open manage layer states say new again let's call this one as we have done before a descriptive name which is new construction if you want to write a description you go ahead and do that right in this section I'm just going to hit OK once again as before and say OK and close that. OK, now <clears throat> that we've done that, let's go ahead and back into the layer states manager, select the new construction and hit the edit button. On this one, we will freeze the A demolition layer. Okay, we will also freeze the A door demo layer. A wall existing to remain, we should change that color to the color red, which is already changed. Let's go ahead and change the color for the A wall new also to red. And the A wall to remain hatch to color eight, which is our thinnest color actually. Let's say save, let's say close, and once again let's make sure that it's been assigned properly. And it has. <clears throat> As you can see now, we've got assigned one layer state here, demolition, one layer state here, new construction, and this one's the original. As it was before they're all quite different now remember it's not just about demolition it's not just about new construction this could be about plumbing it could be about electric it could be about mechanical or structural what we're talking about is being able to define a layer states that will accelerate your viewport configuration to whatever it is that you are trying to show in that particular viewport as we have seen before this is actually exportable why do I say that? Because if I can import it, I can also export them. Okay, very much the same way. You hit select the um, layer states that you want to export, hit the export button, and then go ahead and navigate to wherever it is that you want to save it and say save. With all that said, my friends, we have reached the end of our tutorial. This is Jim Querville, Digital Drafting Systems, signing off now. Thank you for watching. Till the next one.